Hello there and welcome to the course. This is an introduction to the course with the goal of helping you learn how to navigate or how to get around Blackboard, which is what we're going to be using for everything. You will get all the assignments, you will turn in the assignments and everything through here, including tests, whatnot, right? So we're at uh, my main, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to show you what's on the menu. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on everything, right? But I'm going to show you where things are, okay? Uh, another thing I need to show you since I'm pointing at things, right? I'm pointing at V05 here. That means that this is the English 100 course, the group of students who, who registered for the V05 section of that course, because there are many. Some of you are in my V06, so it's a different set of students, a different class, but everything that I tell you is the same. You will find the same information, same materials in your class that says V06, right? So, so don't worry, it, it's, it applies to you as well, all right? Okay. So here we go. Um, this is a menu that can be open and, and closed, open and shut, right? You can close it and that way you can see more of the screen, but I'm going to keep it open for the most part. You can click anywhere in the gray or in the little, you know, handle there, little arrow. Okay, so on Welcome Start here, you have a video for, uh, by, by me, right? Um, with a little welcome. You have eight steps that you need to follow. Make sure you follow these steps right here. Press on every link and do everything that it says, read the information, etc. As you do that, you will get important information. For example, right here, you know, about email and messages and, and whatnot. There, there are a lot of things that are really important. Some things, like for example, here, everything's there. Other things you had to press, right, and find something inside. At the very end, toward, toward the very end, you've got this, uh, this uh, step seven, which says start working on week one assignment. So that one's really important, but don't go straight there. Don't, don't, don't let that be the first thing you do. No, so step by step, one, two, every single step. All right, that's what's on the welcome start here page. If you look on the second part of the menu, that's how we're, go how we, how we're doing this. You have this information about us, uh, about our community, including me, right? It's a picture of me. Um, this has uh, information such as my phone number uh, uh, and uh, where to contact me through text, through, through voice, uh, etc. Make sure you read this information carefully uh, along with what's in other places and you'll see uh, the, the different ins and outs on how to contact me. Make sure that, that you read it carefully and then follow the instructions that are, that are given there. This right here is, uh, uh, you, you, it speaks for itself, right? Uh, all, all these things right there. Okay, make sure you read through everything on 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 here that, that's on this page. Um, this next page is student and technical resources. So you have questions. You can go on here and post a uh, create a thread and then post a question, and I and I get back to you as soon as I can uh, with an answer. But not just me. There are other um, things here. For example, distance learning. Those are the people who handle Blackboard. They can, if something's ever wrong, uh, you call and probably other people would call, say, hey, Blackboard's not working. And that way they would they would uh, fix it and they do fix things right away. Uh, Blackboard's a very reliable system. Um, there are tutorials for how to do things on Blackboard that are available here. Uh, some other phone numbers that are important. Now, let, let me say right here that, that we got uh, to this part, make sure you get these apps, the Blackboard student app, the Pronto team app, and the Jag mobile app. It don't, these will make your life easier as you can uh, do things on your phone, get messages, even some students even turn in assignments. Now I find that for assignments, uh, it, it's much easier to do it on a, you know, on a laptop and a regular computer than it is on phones. Uh, so you might have some difficulty with that, but at least you would get notifications and all that if you have it uh, on your phone, if you have those apps on your phone, make sure you get those. All right, so that's an important page, lots of useful information. We get to the next part, which is the syllabus, schedule, textbook, and instructor policies. First of all, there's the concourse syllabus. Okay. And so this, this right here is a document, right? That has, it's really nice. You can print it, you can download it to your computer or your phone, etc. It's got these little navigations over here, different parts, and and some and information that is in your in in, you know, you saw it earlier like my phone number and all that is also here. 
Uh, and uh, since this is a kind of a bigger document, I mean, I decided to put more in, in the sense of sentences, right? Put it more in the form of sentences. So make sure you read it here too, why not? And that way that the message will come in two different ways and, and you'll, you'll understand it. This, this uh, I'm really proud of this uh, syllabus. I mean, the format, I won't take credit for it. It's something that, that is set, uh, but, but I, I, like, I like the way I organize it. I hope it's, it's uh, understandable for you. Here are the different types of assignments. Uh, and then uh, a week by week of uh, a listing of things that become available and things that are due. So make sure you read through this carefully. Of course, immediately the, what is most useful or is like the first week and the second week, but look through all of it so you know what's coming up, all right? This is the syllabus. You'll often hear that in college, the syllabus is really important. You can close it, right? Like that. Uh, okay, now we have this right here notice that i also have a list of assignments that are due this one is i really like this one too what's in bold these dates that are in bold are um you have the assignment and when it's due these other dates that are not in bold are when the assignment becomes available on blackboard in other words you won't find it for example this this stuff right here discussion one you're not it's not going to be available to you before the before the 25th before uh, right now I'm, I'm doing this on the 24th it won't be available till tomorrow at, at 8 a.m but it'll be due on the 27th this other thing won't be available till the tuesday the 25th and it will be due on the 29th so you've got to look at that carefully sometimes you go look for an assignment you don't think it's there i would i would make i would ask you to please look at things carefully before you call me and say how come the assignment is in there I'll answer your question because it's not available there, right? But you should have known that already by carefully looking at the materials that I give you, okay? That's so important, all right? Because if you think about it, you know, are you wasting my time if you do that? No, and if you get information, it's not a waste of time, but think of it, maybe you're wasting your own, right, time because because you you already had the answer. You just, you just didn't uh, kind of uh, figure out how to get those answers without, you know, being confused for several minutes and having to call someone and all that, all right? This is a really uh, good chart for that. And then there's also final exam information. You can see that there. You can see how the, also the different types of assignments that are available and what they're worth. What, uh, pay, pay, this is also on the syllabus. Pay close attention that um, even though there are, for example, 13 of these assignments right here, only uh, I will grade all of them, but take the 10 highest scores. So that means three are dropped. And so that that's a way of kind of helping you if you mess up or, or skip an assignment on, you know, that's not a problem because that one will get dropped, you know, at least three of those and so on and so forth. And there's different for different categories. Uh, how grades are calculated. The textbook, let me take a moment to tell you about that. There is no textbook for this class, <clears throat> but you are required to purchase Macmillan Launchpad Solo. That uh, is something where you, you're going to purchase some online exercises. I will show you how to purchase a code on 831, in other words, on Monday the 31st. On that day, you will need a credit card or debit card to make the purchase. It is uh, it is around $60. It's like, you know, 60 with some cents or something. Uh, so uh, 60 and change, right? So make sure that you have a debit card or credit card on Monday the 31st, and you will make the, the purchase here through, through Blackboard. It'll, I'll take you to the company site so you can make the, the purchase. I would say, even if you figure out how to how to go to the website, uh, don't, all right? Wait till the 31st because you might go, you might purchase the wrong thing, all right? So so just, just wait for my instructions on Monday the 31st. Attendance policy. Attendance is really easy and I'll show you, and I'll show you how to, how to get credit for attending. Attending is basically logging into Blackboard at least one time this week, right? And that'll be the same thing every week. You will take an easy true and false attendance quiz by Sunday. So the, the quiz becomes available on Monday, which I consider the first day of the week for our purposes, and it'll end on Sunday, 11.59 p.m. And so it's not a quiz where like it's only available one moment, like for one hour, no. It's available a long time from Monday through Sunday, and anytime you take it, you will, you will, uh, you will get credit. You'll answer one question, the answer will be true, okay? And so I already told you the answer and you'll get 100, which means you'll get credit for attendance for the week. There's a statement on plagiarism and cheating as well. All right, so that's what's on this page. 
Now we go over here to course content, all activities and assignments. This one's really important. There are two ways that you can look at the assignments. One is through these folders, through this uh, folder that has assignments and final exam, basically by category. When you click on it, it shows you the different categories, like those, uh, that, uh, those attendance quizzes that I was telling you about. I'm not going to click on that here to show you an attendance quiz yet. I'll do that when we get to the weeks, to the week one folder. Notice that these, this is not organized by weeks, right? Uh, it's by, by types. This launch pad, uh, learning assignments, that is a, a list of assignments that are available online. Remember I said that on the 31st on Monday, you need to uh, have uh, basically a debit card or credit card to purchase uh, those online exercises because we don't have a book in this class, um, but, but, but you do need some exercises that you'll do online uh, and that are for a grade. Uh, journal assignments, essay assignments, and the final exam. As you click in there, you'll find, you know, kind of some, full, for example, in essays, you'll find some folders, right? And inside the folders would be the assignments. But right here I put I, all, several places I put according to their availability. If you click on something and it's not there, it probably doesn't need to be there because it, it's, it's, for example, essay three. I think I can see everything because this is my instructor site. But uh, so when I click on essay three, which we don't need yet, that's later in the semester, if you'll notice it says item is hidden from students, it will be available you know, later on. Uh, that one on August 26th, this one on November 2nd, et cetera. So, so it looks like some things are not available right away. They're, they're, they're available much later. And actually this available August 26th, that's a mistake. This right here should not become available on August 26th. So I'm going to need to fix that. That's something I'll do after I'm done recording this video uh, sometime today because you don't need this brainstorm for essay number three. So that's a mistake on my part. But most other things are correct. If you'll notice, essay three things, the third and final essay for the semester doesn't become available in November. So why am I talking about essay three? Just to tell you that not everything needs to be there. So again, don't call me on the phone asking me, where is this assignment? How come it's not there? No, because, because it shouldn't be there, right? And how do you find out if it should be there or not? You go back to syllabus, schedule, and textbook, right? And so using the same example of essay three, right? If, if I go, you know, sometimes with this kind of thing, I click on the empty space. On my keyboard, I'm going to hold control and then F. You can't see that, but that's what I did. And then I'm going to put essay three, right? And then that way it will kind of go, did it do it? Yes, it says one of eight. So I kind of use these right here and it kind of highlights the different places where it is. So that essay three, and you can see, ah, okay. And, and notice the mistake that I made. It said August 26th. It should have been October 26th where that first assignment should be available. So I'm gonna go in and fix it so that it appears on October 26th. Because if it appears on August 26th, you'll be saying, what's this for? How can we have to do essay three, right? But you'll notice that essay three things become available on October 26th, November 9th, et cetera. So that's where I'm asking you, right? Uh, for your sake and my sake, and my sake, right? For our time, that you please check things before you get worried and, and start calling other classmates or me and, and, and panicking about why things aren't there, right? Look at the schedule. Uh, the syllabus also has dates like that so you can find out when things are supposed to be there. Now, if you go on there, and, it, and the date does show that, that it should be there already, then you call me, right? You tell me, hey, Mr. Pettis, there's a mistake. As you can see, I'm, I, I'm, there's a mistake right now, right? And so, so those things do need to get fixed, and I'm counting on you to tell me. But first, check, check the schedules, uh, check the, the syllabus uh, to see if, if, uh, if, what, what it's supposed to be and if there's some mistake or if it's just normal that it's not there yet, all right? So that, <laughs> you know what, that mistake, that, that, I, that I show here is real important because you can see that, that uh, uh, how, how that works, okay? Now, I'm going to make a pause right here. I'm going to end this, this first part of the video because now we're going to look in the weeks. So I'll see you in a bit.